Hello everyone, I am the game here and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we finished the Good Egg Galaxy and began exploring the Honey Hive Galaxy. In this episode, we're hopefully going to finish Honey Hive and begin searching other galaxies. But first, uh, we're going to go talk to this guy who we haven't had a chance to talk to. Mr. Mario! Check it out! I'm a metal toad and I have a letter for you! Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright, because you're coming to rescue me. Yes, I hope this gift will come in handy. Where's this feature code? Find one of mushrooms in that Would you like to know? Uh, yes I would. Ah, uh, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. I'll come see you next time there's a marriage delivery. <coughs> so you might notice something different, uh, down here. Last episode I believe I ended with 21 lives, this time I only have 9. That's because it's a new day, a new recording session. I am a little bit wiser now. I know that my editor will mercilessly make fun of me. And that sh uh, and that editing is extremely difficult. And I don't know how she does some of the crazy ah! she does. Uh, censor that. So, uh, that said, let's head to the honey hive. We only have one mission left, and that is the Big Bad Bugaboo. I got an itch on the back of my neck. Professionalism! Yay! As you can already see, the Manda Bugs are everywhere! Ah, the whole Manda Bug clan has infested our kingdom! Well, solution is simple. Kill. Yep, there are manda bugs everywhere and it is up to us to kill them. But before we actually kill before we actually kill all of them. I mean I've already gotten a head start. And continue on my way. I never went over here. Which I kinda regret doing. I planned to do it the last episode, but I simply didn't, and now you know, now that the kingdom's under siege, I feel like this is the best time to do it, right? Right. You can come up here and there's a piranha plant, as well as a pipe. What is in said pipe? Death! It's just these little rolling blocks. I will explain that you can destroy these if you need to. But. Uh, da 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 da! Da da da! And now we get more pride! And now Ollie gets to add this prize, so we get to see how she gets creative with whatever she does. She gets to do her uh, crazy editing stuff. She gets more creative with editing than I do. This room is just here to get some extra star bits, so if you need them, they're here. <clears throat> anyway, let's go over here and take out some more mandible. They have invaded our kingdom. We are part of the hive. We must protect it. From these jerk holes. Whee! Those are bubble guns. They will launch you. Uh, they will. Ugh, they will launch you across uh, the map to wherever the bubble gun is pointed. Also, uh, I believe I mentioned this last time. Uh, those are the bugs. Those guys. I was uh, that guy was running away from me earlier. I actually didn't know that till yesterday when I was editing the last video. I'm learning. Are you proud of me, Super Nintendo Traumers? And now we're exploring. Doing some <laughs> we're going on an exploration adventure around Honey Hive. Find the source of the problem. Get a get a bee suit along the way. Get a M made out of star bit, because we can never have too many star bits. I could go over there and get that life, but honestly, we already got two. I don't really think it's too necessary. Ha! <laughs> too necessary? Oh, Slurples! Another enemy whose name I learned just the other day. I'm learning so much! Uh, be careful of bubble guns, because bubbles are, of course, water. And when a bee gets wet, well, you know the shit. 
I feel like Mandibugs are harder when you're the bee. Because you have to fly. It's good, I'm ignoring these guys. The neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance. As you wish, my queen. Off we go! To kill the neighbors! There's a bee suit if you happen to lost yours to uh, the man bugs, it's there for you. And some coins in case you took some damage earlier. So you're pretty set right before we go over here. But we are here to face the leader of the man bug clan, Big Bad Bugaboo. Isn't this a riveting fight? <laughs> Just like every other Man the bug, you just grab on his back, but he's a bit tougher. Taking more than one hit, the second you hit him once, he will he will start flying around and dropping bombs. But just like before, ground pound off. I was hoping I could get a good hit. Wanna come back this way? Thank you. Yeah, I'll just work there. Oh, nice. I'll get him. I swear. There's water on this little island, so you're kinda stuck to this little area. But there's also a life in case you need it. There we go. None too pleased with what we do, he gets extremely enraged, he now flies faster, does flips, he'll fly on his side too, he basically gets a lot more aggressive, which makes him not much harder, honestly. The only thing that he's harder, the only thing harder about now is to hit him, oh no, please don't kill me. There is a bee mushroom on this, uh, on this planet, and, a, and some corn plants, so if you get hit, don't be too concerned. I'll get him. It... Well... I'll get him. I swear. I'll protect my queen. You can't actually hit him on the side. I've done it before, but it's really hard to do. Uh... Here we go. And he's done! With that said, all that stuff was new, get our star. You got a star! I did that little uh, chime as a kid. I don't do it as much now that I'm older. I regret it. I plan to do it every time we get a star from now on now. And with that, we are done with Honey Hive for now. There's nothing else for us to do. We also discovered a new galaxy! As well as Hungry Luma. I've already, we've already had an introduction to Hungry Lumas, but we haven't encountered them on the uh, on the observatory before. Sorry. So, what's if we go check him out? Seeing as we're done with Honey Hive and uh, and Good Egg, we might as well check out the other galaxies that are available to us. Hey you, yeah you, can't taste the diabetes? You give me a bunch of diabetes, I'll burst with stacky happiness and being transformed. I'm famous. I need 400 starbits to curb the hunger pain. Uh, I'm not sure we have quite enough, but I'm sure we can give you a spare couple. I'm so happy that if you have enough, they just rock it in there. They don't waste time making them go, like, very slowly. And with that, we have we create the sweet, sweet galaxy. Yep, Hungry Lumas can also become galaxies, not just planets. So let's say we delve into this one. And jump onto the rocky road. Who is texting me? Stop! I forgot to set my timer. I'm a genius. Well, my bad. I'll set next episode. You guys might be getting a little bit of an extra long episode. Because I'm stupid. Rocky Road is a fairly easy level. In fact, this whole galaxy is rather easy and peaceful. It's mostly just dodging these. You can jump to get some extra speed, as you can see I'm doing here. But it's mostly just a nice little stroll, which means I'm going to die at least five times on it. At the very least, get hit. This game, this level does give you a decent amount of coins, despite it being to be a hard level. 
being not slight mean to not be a hard level. What do you have to say? That's the biggest test right around the corner. I can't go any farther. I'd really love just to taste some of this stuff. This place looks delicious. This looks like a uh, kind of dark chocolate cookie kind of thing. It's like, I guess it is. It, is this just meant to be the dough? It's like too hard to be the dough, but it has like cookie cutter shapes cut out of it. I'm actually kind of confused on that. Is this meant to be like cookie dough? Huh. And uh, I don't care enough to look it up. And Ollie definitely doesn't care enough to look it up. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky, because you gotta do some platforming. Oh! Nearly got shocked. That would have been a shocking experience. I'm just gonna long jump. Benefits of the long jumping. I love mixed chocolate! Oh, what does the cat have to say? Oh, I just wanna see. Hey, we're going back! Do we have to leave? This place is nice. Can I just say this mint chocolate uh, icing is really good? I know some people don't like mint chocolate, but I really do. But, uh, yeah, that's the whole level. Not that long, not that hard. Just kind of a peaceful little stroll along a rocky road. And we're done with that. If you uh, ever go to a galaxy that's outside the dome, instead of going back to the dome, you'll come back to, uh, being right in front of Rosalina. And we're done with that galaxy. We're completely done with it. We never have to go back ever. There's only one star there, so. And we discovered a new galaxy. We're not too interested in that one just yet. When the time comes, we'll talk about that one. <coughs> Thing is, this is actually going like fairly well. I didn't think we'd finish that level that fast. Uh, we could probably have time for a couple more levels. We had discovered the enemy base in the... That was not a Luma voice. That was a Toad voice. We discovered the enemy base in the region. I can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. We can only hope. Oh, so over there we now have access to this galaxy, but we're going to save that for another time. But now, we're going to go to explore the galaxies we haven't explored in... Terrace. Specifically, the Loop de Loop Galaxy. The galaxy I sort of have a love hate relationship with. I think it's fun, but I also hate the mechanics because I kind of suck at them. But we'll talk about them more as we go into Surfing 101. So this galaxy is only one planet. This planet here. What do you, have, what do you guys have to say? Thank you, little guy over there. It's a ray. Great surfing is even so easy. At least what Coach has to say. Hey! This is Penguin Paradise. Seems a bit warm for penguins, but okay. Around here, we surf from rays. I'm serious. We got race surfing. That's what we do. Oh, if we jump up here. Are you a surfer too? Um, never, never tried, but only to learn. Oh, but this is your first time race surfing, right? Well then, let me show you the ropes. I love how he asks if you were a surfer, then it's like, oh, but it's your first time? Then let me explain. Point your, point your point at the screen. Like, I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, that's a basic position. You turn left, twist the, twist left, and that's starting position. Correct, that's how you turn left. To turn right, you've got twist right. Twist to the right. I don't know why I was pressing A like I could skip that and not like I actually had to do it. Yep, that's how you turn right. And all you need to do is hold down A speed up. That's all you need to know. Now give it a go on a course. Let's go! Uh, I'm actually pointing like right at the screen, but you'll notice my pointer is not appearing. Your pointer doesn't really appear when you're on gray surfing. That's because it's trying to get you to focus on surfing, not collecting star bits. And here we go! Let's loop the loop and pull. So our shoes are looking cool. Loop the Loop Galaxy can be kinda hard for beginners. 
even like right now, I personally am holding the controller with two hands just because it helps steady my hands. My hands are a little bit unsteady, so I'm trying to make sure I can. Uh, I can. I'm trying to focus. Sorry. Oop. If you ever get too close to the outside edge, don't be afraid to slow down. Just like gently let go of the A button. It's no harm to your time, trust me. So they don't teach you is if you flick the Wii Remote, you can actually jump. Which is really fun on those little ramps there. This is just a nice, calm little level. There's not much to it. Just loop the loop. And there's our, our shine, not a star. It's a shine gate. But it will reward us with a star. <laughs> One minute, three seconds. Three seconds and 40 milliseconds, congratulations, you deserve a gold medal. Well, seeing as we need that shiny gold medal, let's say we go up there and nab it. No, and I don't know why. Alright, we are going. Well, normally I'd end the episode off at three, like I had planned to, but we did a bunch of short levels this episode, so I think we got time for one more, and that is the Flip Switch Galaxy, the most pathetic galaxy in the game. It's another single star galaxy, the simply called. And it uh, has one mission, playing the planet yellow. That's the galaxy. That planet. That's the whole galaxy. That's it. Isn't this a riveting galaxy? Okay, what is the definition of galaxy? I want to know, because I feel like this doesn't qualify. This is one planet. No way it can qualify. Can't it? Ollie, figure that out. This though isn't that hard as it is with most flip, flip switch stuff. You just gotta, you know, flip the switches. You have a new enemy, and you think I would have learned to look these up beforehand, but uh. Nope. <sighs> so, put it on screen now! Whoever is adding this, probably Ollie. And that's it, that's the whole level. Wasn't that riveting? Well, uh, with that done, let's jump on this guy. Let's bring up to get our last star. Well, not our last star. Last star for this episode. You got a star. And there we are. <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. I love the sound effect for when you uh, beat a level like that. <clears throat> I feel like those short levels must be really good for speedrunners because you just finish them really quick to get stars to go to uh, to the dome galaxies. <clears throat> to go to the big base galaxies. But with that said, we have, we have nearly completed the terrace in its hole. Which means next time in Super Mario Galaxy. We have every intention of taking the fight straight to Bowser. Or rather Bowser Jr. We'll be heading straight to his robot reactor. Thank you all for watching this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. If you like this part then leave a like show what you did. If you really like it, uh, subscribe for more videos like it every month. If you didn't like it, there's a button for that too, and perhaps you can leave a comment to tell me why you didn't. Until next time, I've been the Game Hero, and this is my Galaxy.
not doing that because I don't have a wrist strap on this Wii Remote. I took it off because it was busted. We're not safe here. <laughs>